Um, I think it was it was a big game for us. I mean, you know, we'd come off of two home draws, and we we knew that we needed a to do something different. We needed to uh, you know change the gear and 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 uh, and try to get a good result. You know, at home with our fans. You know, and keep putting ourselves in 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 a good spot in the league. And I think today we saw that. You know, everyone was mentally locked in. You know, we went after the game from minute one to minute 90. And I think we just, you know, switched our mentality going into this game. And, um, you know, and I think that's that's why we, we had a solid performance today. Sorry, Matt Potter, last word on soccer. Hey, Will, congrats on the win. Thanks for the time. Um, you know, obviously you were able to stay in the game after that knock you took at the beginning of the second half. Um, what went on there, and are you doing okay? Thanks for for uh, the concern, man. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm doing all right. So knee's a bit swollen and, you know, feels kind of tight, but uh, I wanted to stay in the field, man, and, and – uh, and help my teammates, you know, get get this win. And um, you know, I'm sure tomorrow will be pretty sore. And and just now, it's a matter of taking care of myself, coming in for treatment. So I'm ready to go Sunday. Go to Brian Jennings, bringing the wave. Hey, Will. Uh, thanks again. Yeah, as well for some time. Um, gutty performance tonight, but by yourself, but also I thought that whole group, you know, the the second half, the energy level just seemed to kind of pick up as the game went on. I mean, was that more um, maybe a, a product of that of that goal at the end of the half, or did you guys talk about, look, we need to keep them down while we have them down, you know, that type of a thinking? Thanks. Yeah, of, of course. I mean, like, like I said initially, we, we had come off of two draws at home, and we wanted to take advantage of, of this game. And we knew that we needed to step step it up a bit, that we hadn't been uh, great the last uh, two games. And, and we knew we needed to shift gears and, and we needed to to win this game. And I think everyone mentally was just uh, switched on. And obviously, you know, that late goal in the first half uh, helps a lot coming into the locker room. and. You know, we just just talk saying that we needed to keep the tempo up. We need to keep uh, possession, not give them anything. Make sure we were come 100% focused for the remainder of, of of the game. And and I think that's why the second half we didn't want to, you know, let that momentum get out of our hands. And and thankfully, you know, everyone was locked in. Everyone was on the same page. And uh, and yeah, it was a a great team effort. We'll go to Chase Howell, Denver Post. Hi, William. Uh, that was your 11th clean sheet of the season, which I believe now leads the league, tied for first. I'm not going to ask you to brag about yourself, but what does that say about what you guys as a defensive unit have done this season? Yeah, that that is is not only uh, the defense getting the clean sheets. It's it's the work of the entire team. I mean, uh, the, the attention to detail in training sessions and – and the work everyone puts in during the 90 minutes of games. It starts with the forwards all the way to the keeper. And and I, I think it just, you know, shows the the chemistry this team has, the understanding we have of, of what Robin asks of us. And and we understand that, you know, if we're solid defensively, it puts us in spots to to win games. And um, like I say, like th these 11 clean sheets is a 100% uh, team effort. I mean, not only the 11 players, but the subs coming on. You've you've seen it in in every game. They come on. They come on locked in, knowing what they need to do defensively, set pieces, and it's just it's just a product of the work we put in day in day out, and 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 the concentration and and the attention uh, to detail of of what Robin asks of us. We'll go back to Matt. I will. 36 minute, I think it was, where Gaines, the uh, number nine for Austin, comes in. Obviously, Lawless is trailing behind him, and you come out and you make the stop. Bit of a shout for a PK from what I saw from the replay. Not sure there was anything there. Um, walk me through what you saw on that play and how you were able to make the save. Thank you. Yeah. Um, you know, I saw the, the, the ball get played 
you know, wide, uh, big guy. <laughs> You know, he, he, he gets, he beats Lalas. Lalas does an amazing job at recovering and putting pressure on him. And, you know, I start to come off my line, you know, hoping that he has a big touch in, in his dribble towards me where I can uh, just have a, a, you know, go at him full speed. He keeps, he does well to keep the, the ball close to his, to his foot. He's not looking at me. I see he's not looking at me to see me coming off my line. And, you know, in the very last second, you know, I just try to be as close and as big as possible to him to, to hopefully um, get that ball to hit me somewhere on my body. And, and obviously, Lalas does a great job at um, putting that extra pressure on him to, to not let him finish comfortably.